All right, here we go again. So we got, we're in the water now. Uh, see, I think ray tracing does that casting effect around my body. It is currently on maximum at the moment. That horrible like light in the water. You can see it like wrapping around my body. All right, so see how it's like looks like it's this light above my head is bouncing off the water from the distance. It's sort of horrible. It's not the way ray tracing is supposed to be implemented. Okay, so it's currently on and we're going to switch it up. We are now off. Well, it says it's off. Maybe I will restart the game here. Give me one second. Now we're off. I even restarted the game. And then we still got that effect going around, like the flame is bouncing off the water from off in the distance. We can sort of see the crab off the water. Sort of. Not really. We're gonna die to a giant crab. Ah. So I've changed the time to daytime in the game. And uh, we still got that halo effect across the water with the torch. Ray tracing is off. And uh, we will go and turn it on. The maximum. Probably need to restart the game, yeah. So I'm going to stand here with the torch above my head. And I will leave the game and come back in a second. Okay, we're back. Um, it looks like the light in the water just go out a little bit further, but I think this could be my imagination. We are on maximum ray tracing settings now. And, uh, all I can tell is it adds a little bit of like, oh, we can see the crab is way better this time off the water. It has to be a certain angle though. Right? It wouldn't beat off the crab. Okay, let's see if we can see any other sort of reflections off the water like that look legit since flame lighting it doesn't look like they're done lighting I'm trying to work out what kind of ray tracing they did it doesn't look like they did shadows either but yeah I can see the monster in the water here reflection of it that's pretty good what about this one I'm guessing they did reflection ray tracing, which is nice to see. See that's reflecting off the water quite well. Yeah, before we couldn't even see the clock, like we saw a bit of the crowd's reflection that was like mapped tracing though. That's pretty cool. There we go guys. So I'm guessing Elden Ring uses reflection ray tracing. And that is it. We definitely don't have shadows or lighting effects because my dude should be casting a shadow on the ground at the moment with a, the torch above his head. So, yeah.